Hi everyone, welcome back to Sibley's. I'm Charmaine Junis. For today's video, I will be discussing an introduction to black magic and the dark arts. If you're interested in learning more about the dark magic side of witchcraft, then visit my playlist about black magic and I'll just be telling everyone a few of the videos I also will be making on black magic for this playlist like curses and hexes and defense against the dark arts also uh, an overview of the gosha and other black magic rituals involving demonolatry and communication with spirits because those are a few subjects involved in black magic <clears throat> there are the dark cults like demonolatry and satanism also learning curses and hexes studying black magic grimoires that are famous or books that black magicians have written on the dark arts is very important to read their view on things and their experiences and their thoughts on that kind of magic. Also to practice um, dark rituals, uh, black mass, communicating with spirits, especially demons which are the dark spirits of the earth. Also making seals and packs not so much with the devil, but with spirits in general. Also, learning how to entrap spirits in a sealed vessel and possess objects, even hosting spirits, which is a voluntary possession, uh, transforming objects and transfiguration, which is transforming into another person or being or even creature. So there's my other video you need to watch on the dangers of black magic and some safety around that. Also on myths of black magic. <clears throat> so if you are interested in learning more about black magic, you need to know about the beings of darkness. And if you find there's two books that are really great on this, there's Encyclopedia of Spirits, which lists many types of spirits of all kinds, like ghosts, entities, creatures, um, deities, and the like. Also, Dictionary of Demons, specifically the Dark Demons, for black magic. So, <clears throat> if you know the powerful beings, you will be prepared to start learning about black magic. Also, I have in my book of shadows here, because I'm starting to learn more about black magic, and there is a type of language or alpha alphabet that is called Enochian. And these are the letters and the sounds of each one. And it is the language of angels and demons. I know those are opposites, but they speak the same language. And <clears throat> John D also mentions Enochian in many grimoires, especially the Gosha, the Goetia, the Gotia however you pronounce it, there's uh, a lot of Enochian verses in there and writings. Also in the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey, there are the, f the keys, the 19 Enochian keys that um, are, has to do with worshiping Satan. So that's also really interesting to know that kind of language with that alphabet just makes it more powerful if you use that in your writings and spells and rituals for black magic. Also with um, black magic grimoires, there are many out there 
there is also an author that writes new versions of them. His name is E.A. Coetting, and you can find his videos here on YouTube. And he has a whole list of books that are really great for practicing black magic. Um, also, famous old grimoires that are really important in the study of the dark arts include the Grand Grimoire, and that grimoire is more of an um, overall study of the dark arts and black magic magicians, and it's kind of a general idea of it. Another famous grimoire of the dark arts is called Crossed Keys, and that is an excellent book to read on black magic rituals. And some of these books may be rare, hard to get, difficult to attain, but there may be information online about them. Some people may have copies of them. Even some old libraries may have some. So Crossed Keys is another great grimoire to read. Another dark grimoire is called the Necronomicon. And it is a grimoire that speaks of necromancy and all about death spells not causing death or anything violent but communicating with the dead and all information you need to know about the dead even as far as resurrection spells the book of Baphomet is another great grimoire to read it's, it's more of a newer kind with more new age information, but it surrounds the cult of demonology and Satan worship. Another rare grimoire to read is called Diabolical and it is really dark and in-depth when it comes to practicing black magic. All the types of evil spells and just curses and hexes and just everything wicked that comes to your mind. It's diabolical. One of the most infamous dark grimoires of our time is the Gosha. I'm not sure of the exact real pronunciation, but I just always calls it, called it the Gosha. It is also considered the lesser key of Solomon the King. Since the key of Solomon the King, there's a whole list of grimoires. But the Gosha is very specific when it comes to contacting demons especially those listed in the book are 72 spirits of Solomon and he sealed them in a brass vessel he made packs with them and it goes on explaining what each demon um, what they practice what their abilities and powers are and how to contact them just certain personality um, traits about them and really interesting information and it's by far my my favorite grimoire I have the Gosha but the version I have is written by Aleister Crowley because there are a few versions of the Gosha because it's just so infamous in black magic and you can learn so much about the demons and how to contact them, how to help control them, making magic circles and making packs, everything to do with just the dark aspect of that magic. And I'll just show you soon in my next video clip the, the types of tools you need if you're interested in 
contacting demons from the ghost ship. So if you're interested in practicing black magic and the dark arts, and if you are interested in the gosha, some symbols and sigils and talismans that are very important in here include the demonic sigils, but also includes the hexagram of Solomon, which when used to contact spirits, makes the spirits obey and they will be compelled to take human shape. Also, if you're interested in binding spirits into a vessel, then this is the secret seal of Solomon. So that is to help to bind and trap spirits momentarily. Also, when working with dark magic, use sulfur tip matches because they are said to be part of the demonic realm. So instead of using lighters, matches are better. This here is a talisman I have made out of polymer clay, shaped a bit like a key. It represents the secret key of Solomon, which written underneath a coat of gold paint are some secret words, and this helps to find knowledge and power and wisdom. Also, oh, this talisman is the satanic talisman to help make contact with the demonic realm. This is a very important part of Doetic magic, and it is the sacred or secret triangle of Solomon. It helps to contact spirits. And what I did was, if you can see this properly here, but I used, I painted card black and I wrote these magical words in silver. And this piece of dark glass here is actually part of uh, sunglasses. It's the lens off of sunglasses. And I glued that in the center and it helps to act as a scrying dark surface. And you're supposed to repeat demonic ends and the magical words for a period of time in order to eventually see spirits turn out in this dark lens. So that's also important in dark magic. So these are just a few of really important grimoires to read if you're interested in learning more about black magic, especially serious ritual casting spells and curses and everything that is involved in the dark arts. I will be making more videos in this playlist for the dark arts so keep on watching for those coming up soon and if you do not want anything to do with black magic or witchcraft don't watch this playlist don't watch my videos don't watch my channel <laughs> okay um, I don't need haters just people that are curious and interested and serious about the craft. If you have any questions, please list it on the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Bless be.